Hey everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this room. And somewhere in this room. Yeah, I'm somewhere in this room. <laughs> I just got through. <laughs> I'm also somewhere in this world, everybody. I'm also somewhere <laughs> in this world. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, it's starting, and I, I, <laughs> I messed up my intro already. <laughs> yeah, another day, another objective pursue, to pursue somewhere in my room, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, <laughs> I love miss, misspeaks. That's why I could never be a public figure. I, I would entertain people with all my misspeaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yes. I, I am in your walls. I am behind every mirror, just like that special Willy Wonka event in in Scotland recently that I'm sure most of you have probably heard about. I am in your walls wearing a mask to jump out at you <laughs> and scare your children. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you in here, Felipe, and uh, thanks for being around. Hope Send also is in here. How about that? Nightmare Felipe, Hope Send. What a, what a great start already. How about that? But, uh, yeah, I, I, I live in your walls now, Nightmare. Is ever, has everybody seen that, that Willy Wonka ep, uh, uh Disaster up in Scotland. It's, it's over a week old, but I still laugh at it every time I see pictures. Ay, ay, ay. So that, that's when you said, where am I? Somewhere in your room hiding, Nightmare. In your walls? <laughs> if, if my mind went there. I'm hiding behind the mirror, and I'll jump out at you and scare your children. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, we never know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, you know, if I, I mean, yeah, all I have to do is listen now instead of look for what you type, right? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice if y'all could just talk? Oh, it'd be one loud, one loud thing if everybody had a voice, too. Yeah, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the face behind it all? Oh my God! Top of the hour. Excuse me. Top of the hour already. Um, who, who knew? Who the heck knew? So uh, that's interesting. And here we are. Here is our wonderful base up in the upper left corner. You see the new. I uh, kind of put it on the thumbnail. Our two new objectives that we have right now. So I'm, I'm excited to see about getting uh, or making progress towards those. And let's see, let's see, let's see. The one thing I looked, I looked uh, before, I, I had the game on, then I had to shut it down because I had the, I didn't have my headphones selected. And I, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, um, it says I have to develop a signal triangulation device to locate the broadsword numbers station. And I do that in the workshop. Well, I've been scanning through the workshop, and I'll be danged if I see anything about a signal triangulation device. So what I'm guessing is we have to retrieve the broadsword information first from NATO headquarters before that workshop item becomes available. That's what I'm guessing, uh, since it's not in here now, because I, I, I scoured it. So I didn't have to make you all watch me read every single item to try uh, try and find it. So we will just have to plan on doing this mission so we can then develop the item we need to develop in the workshop. That that's <laughs> that's what I'm counting on today. So uh, with that in mind, we really don't have any money to do anything right now, and I need to save up in case danger all of a sudden skyrockets from a new cell, that kind of a thing. Something goes wrong. And uh, I'm not going to spend anything here. Uh, crew quarters wise, let me just make sure I didn't have any more perks, just as a double check. I would love to get more people into training. 
uh, once the interrogations are done and uh, we have more chemical stuff going on here too so uh, let, let me just make sure I'm double checking yeah the forging room is full so we're at max income capacity right now so it's just a matter of guess what and getting out here we got a flight going to this point of interest uh, we have a special mission here but it's just a matter of sending two people uh, we need more info about the NATO civil defense modernization program dubbed a broadsword so that's something we'll have to address so yeah we still got to do missions we need more loot to sell i i could probably get away with selling more and then the agents we have two sleeper agents out there that have control phrases we can activate so that's nice they're both in unknown locations wow we also have uh the agent in dublin that we have a team flying towards so hopefully we'll be able to do something to react there in fact that might be our next mission for all we know and we got an informant over here, an informant there about ready to pop in less than an hour. So uh, let's get going. And we got a new secret file. It's uh, the propaganda files. So we'll, we'll just go in here and open it up and find out the person and the person that we're going to be looking for. So Redacted brought in a real gem today, a club devoted to proving Copernicus wrong. They literally believe Earth is flat. Can you believe the potential here? Foxtrot Dancer. So that's one we're looking for. And uh, the other person I've been looking into a redacted and it gave me an idea for our guys in Hollywood. Yeah, like what? A TV series. There's a secret agent. Let's call him Poor Butler. Yeah, <laughs> let's call him Poor Butler. <laughs> let's use his real code name. How about that? So that's our. this is our new file that we got going that as we gain intel we'll come back to it so let's keep on a moving and we got something else over here it looks like i got a team right here in vorkuta and we are going to send them here nine hour flight so no interrupting this mission if that's what proves to be there okay now we've arrived here so I actually could interrupt this op. It would increase danger by 33, but like Hope's End said, it wouldn't hurt to pick up some more loot. So now might not be a bad time to do a tactical recon here. It's only a two-person assault. Uh, I'm sure we can uh, spare two people to do a mission just to try and pick up some more loot. So why don't I do this? I'm good at tactical recon and let's let's do it. All right, we got a new secret file here also, a hostile lobby group report and we have a new enemy revealed. Phobos. Well, we know Phobos, don't we? Isn't Phobos one of our guys? Um, let's pause for. Oh well, we're getting. Oh, uh, we're getting. Oh, we gotta. We gotta deal with our people that we interrogated. That's where this stuff's coming from. And we got new files here. New agent candidate. Let's pause for sure because our danger is gonna spike upwards if I don't get this uh fixed and come up with a plan so right now everything's cool here let's get back in here and go to mk ultra and decide what we want to do with our our two other guys that we we finished treatments on now we are st oh no we're still interrogating those two so we we just have a lot of stuff going on so let's see oh we finished interrogating these two Oh, I can't keep track. So, nail bomb, conspiracy treatment. I can't remember who's having what done. So, we have to get nail bomb back in and figure out what we're going to do. No, skipper and nail bomb. No, they're being interrogated. So, I take that back. They're being interrogated. These guys have finished interrogation this is where we got that information from and the question is 
How many more control phrases do we need out there? Perhaps I should try a locator beacon or something on somebody? Do I have the funds? I, I would. Plant a locator chip on the agent to reveal an enemy cell. Uh, I think that's probably not a bad idea to maybe see if it gets us faster locations of cells. So let, let's, let's, uh, it looks like he's on his last legs here, but you know, let, let's go see about doing a locator beacon on him. And then we could, and then we got one more guy to figure out and we don't have a whole heck of a lot of money. Uh, we have Empire to do something to. I don't have enough money for control phase. So what I'm thinking is this. I could put out one more beacon. I, I think we're just going to get rid of her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got a lot of agents out there, and I don't have a lot of funds to keep them all busy. Or, okay, we'll put out, we'll, we'll just do maybe another look. We'll have two... Two out in the field, and then maybe by the time these guys finish in seven hours, no, I won't have enough money, but we're going to have a couple locator beacons out there. I'm so, so focused in, I, I know exactly what I want to do. I'm, I'm hemming and hawing because I can't make up my mind. So they're all busy. Danger is gone again. And uh, what I got to do is get over here and see if I can do some quick cells. Uh, ay, ay, They cancel each other out? How does... Oh! I Do I waste one? Oh, you've done that before. Okay. Well, I wonder if I can cancel. Yeah, let's cancel this one. And I just can't afford anything. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna execute then. I can afford an execution. Uh, except uh, I think I want her back in there. There we go. Bye bye, Empire. Ciao. Nice knowing you. Not. Okay. So there. Same. Same thing accomplished, and we could afford it. So technically, I don't need to earn any money because I can still do an emergency move if I need to. So let's get back out here. Oh, they end up both going to the same cell. Well, thank you for letting me know that I uh, saving me from wasting time. I I do appreciate that. Heads up. I mean, we would have figured it out soon enough. Yeah, or, or we were close to executing Oracle. If I had gone click happy, <laughs> oh man, that would have been a horrible misclick. If I had killed one of my good agents, oh man. Uh, so let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. We have some intel files to look at, but we'll do that shortly. Oh yeah, we did get some from an informer too, maybe. Okay, we got another informer over here. And... New agent candidate and Catfish's body English talent revealed. Let's go look at Cat... Oh, well. Oh, we these are the interrogations that just finished. So new agent candidate, Stimpak as a trade contact. So I think we need to go back in because we got to deal... Figure out what to do with these jokers now. And see how we can put them to good use. <laughs> Not body English. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> I can just see everybody, you know, doing these different poses to, to communicate via body English or something. Let's see. Uh, I, I, Y'all are getting me in a weird mood today, that's all I can say. I, I think I started it off by going zigzag zog coming to you from somewhere in this room. <laughs> I still that's still making me laugh. Doesn't take much, by the way, to get to get me going. Does not take much. So what we got? We had something from Catfish. What did we find out from him? Body engineering talent. Oh, so he engineers his body faster. So what good is is we if we want to try removing chemicals because he's not at all buffed up with actions here, 
We could remove what chemicals he has right now and put him through our other regimen and, and it would go uh, be a quicker process for him. Interesting. Okay, so let's figure out what we got to do with our last couple guys in MK Ultra. They're available and available. Yeah, I could put another control phrase out there. I very well could do that. If I up to spending the money, what does Saboteur do? Well, yeah, not, you know, if I'm going to spend $2,000, I say let's have uh, them destroy one for us. Of course, we, pro we, we don't get the fun of doing it in the loot that we collect. You know, I imagine. But it would destroy the first enemy cell they arrive in. How much is an execution? 500? Oh, I, I need... I just can't afford... So what I gotta do short term is I'm just gonna execute these two guys. Uh, we, we, got, we, we got a lot of stuff from them. And I'm tired of Nail Bomb, first of all. He, he's been a thorn in our side for a while anyway. So we're just gonna make him pay so we don't have to look at him again. And we're going to execute. Did I actually say, by the way, Hope Sand, did I say body English? <laughs> did those words come out of my mouth? Okay, we're going to execute here. And then... Uh, we're quick and efficient at executing. We're going to execute here. That way we're saving up money. i got to save up money, so I can't do all these expensive things... Like I might want to. I did say it, huh? <laughs> okay. I see there's some synapses in my brain that are not firing in the proper orders or sequence here. And so, instead of saying the words that are written in front of my face, I'm, interesting things are coming out today, don't you think? Interesting things are coming out today. So, execution. Goodbye. He's getting treatment. We'll see what that locator beacon does. And there we go. Let's get back out here. Danger, danger. Gone, gone, gone. And, uh, yeah, everything looks good. I got this other pair of agents here. This one's busy, so I've got one, two. I should probably send one more team out that's in the in the main so l l let me figure out who I need to send out I should send out a team that's available and doesn't have any training necessary so Spade and Proteus are going out into the field yeah we'll we'll do that Spade, uh, Spade and Proteus so Spade and Proteus are going uh, to Madrid There's Proteus, and there's Spade. Let's send them. That way I'll have enough teams over here to rapid react. I, I feel like I at least, at least need four teams over in this big landmass. And we got plenty going on over here. Alright, so we finished this mission. And we have the ability to assault. So we're just going to jump right into it. I like Clover. And I like, I like the idea of Octopus. I think they're both decent agents. Let me just double check Octopus here. Yeah, 127 is, is a decent number. 127, let me just see if you have an upgrade on this equipment. Uh, I changed you out from a pistol just to have a multi-shot option, but you know, to be quite honest, it really doesn't do any more damage than the Wembley. So I might as well just go back to the Wembley, put on a silencer, and have your dueling pistols. Uh, especially, single shot attacks no longer end your turn, yada yada yada. So, that's the way you're going out. Now, English is spoken here. And what are these folk? Oh, so maybe I, I need to look for an English speaker instead of just automatically going with the two that are suggested. 
Uh, so I know I want Clover in there for her certain skills she has. So let's now remove Octopus and see if we got somebody to speak English that might be able to distract for us. That's Russian there. Portuguese there. Uh, Benson does not go out. By the way, Benson does not go out. As a matter of fact, Benson needs to become a forger is what he needs to do. That's where, I, so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right back to this mission, but lest I forget, uh, I need to come back in my base and go into the forger, release codex, and bring Benson in here. Now that he's back at our base, because he had been flying towards our base for forever, and now he's here. So there's our forging trifecta. Yep, there's our bad double agents that think they're so cool and wonder why all they do all day is print money. <laughs> yep, he is now a support guy. Kick Volta, kick drum, and a Benson. So there, now I feel better. Now I gotta go. Now we gotta go back to our mission and pick the two that we want. No, 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 we're not doing the special one. We're doing this one. Uh, I am not going on this one with my openly hostile. Clover is definitely going out. She's just, she's, she's got it going on and her hit points at 125. Now I just want to find somebody English speaking. We know what to do with our double agents. Make them print money. We know what to do. Um, who speak? I, I they, let's see. I'm going with I'm checking the availables first, so I don't break break up any teams that are out there. Mandarin. There's there's an English speaker, but he just doesn't have hit points. That's the downside. So I think it's, I just think it's be in my best interest to forego the distraction. Ooh, maybe I just pull Grim Br Grimoire comes out of treatment and we'll redo her treatment. You know, it's only 50 bucks in a couple hours. Uh, I think I would rather have... Oh, but her hit points are not where they need to be. Ay, 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 ay. And then there's Canasta who speaks English. And if I pull her out now, she'll still be okay. Hit point wise. Well, now I'll check some of the away people. Sorry, I was trying to break up teams. So now somebody who's away is is going to be... Man, I'm not going to use myself. So I'll look at everybody who's away. There's an English speaker, only 100. This is getting old fast. Ranger is Spanish. Catfish is English at 111. Hey, you know, we we can... Let's just double check. We might be able to do better. We have a handful of agents. You know, you know. Ranger, you speak Spanish. You're still hospitalized. Seven more hours. Um, so I, I'm just going with somebody. Ooh, Ragdoll is away. She needs to continue healing. I keep forgetting about that too. So I'm just, I'll just go back to who I had in there. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, Bagpipe has better hit points, so Bagpipe's going to be in there. And we just won't have Distract. Ooh, I, that, I love that wide brim hat. Clover, you're looking a little... Compared to Bagpipe, you're looking a little frumpy with that hat. Can we can we get you there? No, well, now you're looking like the, 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 tw the twins. Can you not copy her look? Okay, there we go. A little beret and a little wide brim. I think that works for me. Uh, I'm just going to check the second weapon here. No other real upgrades. So, pistol-wise, though, uh, rather than give you the 38, let's give you a PPK and, and upgrade your damage output, even though you can't use it silenced. And we'll play it this way. There we go, I think we're ready, other than the support team. So we got Volta here, Kick Drum there, and guess what, Codex, we don't need backup team. 
Uh, we will put Benson in here now, though, to get him used to uh, his new support role. And in his support role, we have the silence thing here. I had the grenade launcher did not impress me. Poison gas cloud. I'm I'm going back with the uh, loud sniper on this one. And I'm not going to change this, so I accidentally default the cleaner. There we go. We are ready. Everybody's equipped. Everybody's got really good looking disguises. Canasta is, but I just started putting her through um, training, and I don't want to restart that because the one to remove all her chemicals is uh, like at least a day long, and I don't want to interrupt that and then start all over again. So, yeah, and this one, the silence machine gun. So, you know, we're 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 this is a good enough team. Besides, we try to do the, the silent hi -yah takedowns anyway, as opposed to a weapon, because sometimes the weapons don't have the damage output for some of the better agents. So here we go. In... Off to Dublin! So we have to kill or capture the enemy agent. We have to rescue the inform... Oh, there's an informer? Did we have an informer here? That's what That's what's going on. That's why this mission popped up. It was going to be an informer that we were finding, and, and that's good. If we rescue the informer, that's another agent for us. And we have room for more agents, so I'm, I'm, I'm cool with all this. Let's see what my interrogation looks like. So the informer is in a very tiny little room here. And... The little tiny room eventually has access onto the roof. So it makes it seem like this would be a good exit point over here. Plus there's cameras out here, but it all depends on Clover. Where's the other cameras? Oh, this is a very sprawled out. Okay, we have an agent right here. So that's good. We know where the agent is on this one. Which is nice, since it's only a two-person mission that we know that. So the only camera I'm seeing uh, that's identified for us is in this outer building. So it looks like I'm going to send my team over here. I don't even have to worry about Clover, because anybody can do this camera, because there's only one. I don't need interconnected on this one. So let's just start our team here. And therefore, let's see what the window situation looks like on the buildings. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll double check and when we find the agent and can take a look at the agent, because I, I can't check the agent's abilities to click on it, I don't think. Uh, we'll, we'll see when I find the agent, we'll check. Sickle is who we're picking up here. If we're lucky, this agent does... No, wait. Did the two that have control phrase did not show in this location? Remember when we looked at the three agents? Oh, I see. Yeah, if we find a second one, yeah, we'll, we'll check for control phrase, of course. Uh, but the original listing, remember when we looked down at the three agents down here on, on the world map? The two agents that we know have control phrase were not at this location. They, well, let's put it this way. Their location was unknown. So, yeah, they could be here. And if we find them. But this, this one that we scouted out ahead of time, we'll double check. How about I just say that? We'll double check. Now, vision into here... There's no window there. There's no window on this side of the building that really... Of okay, course, sometimes this room... This room could easily be a way out. So in order to be able to escape or plot our escape... We're on the third floor. How We, we would more than likely come down this ladder here... Excuse me, I moved my mouse. I'm mouse happy. Um, so, 
we'd have to come down the ladder after we rescue that person, come down this hallway, and then come back here. So I would like to see into these rooms to make sure our coast will be clear for the evac. Or, if not coming down this ladder, coming down this uh, staircase and coming through those doors and out. We've, we've, we've used uh, this or a similar map before, coming down the scare staircase, coming out on this balcony and jumping out. We've seen a similar style building to this before. So the question is, do I rather have my spotter on this side to check out the hallway? I think I want them spotting so I'm going to put the spotter on the west. A long convoluted story. And then if we're going to escape on this side, I'm going to put my smoke on this side too. And then I don't have access or any lines of sight into this. Well, there is barred windows, but he's, he's behind the wall. So I wouldn't be able to snipe this guy because when they have this symbol, they're stationary. So I'm going to put my uh, snipers to cover both lines over here, I guess. Or both sides of the building. No, I better put one. I better, I'll put my silent one on this side in case we need to clear the room to help our escape. I'm loading up on, on a one side and then we'll put the other one on the east to help on either side of the building if people are coming at us that way. Uh, okay, here we go. We're all set. And did I did I pick the right spot to start? Yeah, I want to start right next to the camera. So, oh, I don't have an outdoor crew, so it really doesn't matter where I start. I only have two. I'm so used to having extras on an outsource, so we still got to get somebody down here for the camera. Okay, here we go. All right, I hope so. yeah, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open in case your suspicions are... Yeah, and just in case, uh, we'll keep our options open. Now I gotta figure out what side of the building we're on. So the, the agent we need is down here. And there's our rescue, so who's closest? So Bagpipe, you're actually closest. I'm just gonna send you out. One of the rooms we actually started in that will end up making our escape. So that's cool. I'm going to bring you out to the balcony. I'm going to bring you here to look on the balcony. And that, that looks fine. And then we'll come to the edge of the balcony and come down here and grab the cameras first. <gasps> okay, we didn't see all the way in the room. And this is not an agent. It's Artemis Spook. They're just, they don't have the, the agent fedoras, but there are two of them over here. So we kill, still can escape from upstairs, coming out the side here, uh, depending on how they wander and, and have a good chance at escaping from, from inside here, or even jumping out this window if there's nothing between it. Or, or yeah, not even going to the balcony, jumping out here and escaping. So our escape route looks good. Yeah, Artemis Spook, you know, he and his cousins keep keep reoccurring. I think they're just limited names, unfortunately, in the programming. So I remember seeing Artemis Spook, unless that was a mission where we didn't have to kill everybody, and now he's got re reassigned over here. It's hard to remember if I've killed an Artemis Spook before or not. Clover, Leave me alone. you're in a nice, quiet room here. And there's nothing in this room with double agents. Nope, so I don't have to worry about coordinating a theft there. Let's go here. All right. 
So there's our first bit of loot that we can sell or this or something cheaper. And we need to find two docks and a little bit more loot. Four and two are the numbers we're looking for. Now, let me see, I got stairs going down. You know, what I kinda wanna do is look up. We're gonna have one inside with this person. Do I have anything in here? Yes, a briefcase. And I can almost guarantee you somebody's in this room too. So I'm gonna send, uh, I'm gonna see about sending you upstairs first or next. So we'll just have you kind of wait by the door. How about how about we have you wait by the door here, and then you can come around to this ladder and climb up here. Sometimes there's loot in a cabinet out here. Not today. Sometimes there's loot in a cabinet. Of course, it's a helipad today, so it's not a storage area. And I hope there's not a lot of loot. Okay, the edge of the map is here, so I don't have to worry about too many side buildings. I have one main side building here. And that looks like a bunkhouse. And I'm not seeing loot. So that's good. We don't have to go into the outer buildings. Looks like everything we're going to need is going to be in here. So let's bring you out here. Well, you know, just in case there's an extra agent that we're not counting on. do this first. Yeah, look, looks, well, we don't have good vision down the hallway because we can't stand on the other side of the door, but it's okay. Oh, that, we saw him on that kill all enemies one. Oh, at least we don't have to, we don't have to kill everybody on this one. That's, that's the good thing. We, we could if we want the experience, but we're, 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 this, this mission is for the loot and for a potential new agent in Sickle here who has three actions, three move actions. So Clover. Bagpipe, let's jump in, let's, yeah. let's get you to do the cameras first. Okay, panned to a guard over here, which now we're too far away to see. He, he looked like a rent-a-cop. And yeah, cam fortunately, cameras are not an issue for us right now because we're both in disguise. So technically, I don't even need to take out the cameras. I just take them out because, and, and I, 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 it logically, I feel like if things go bad, things go loud, and the cameras are still on, I feel like. Um, Oh, I missed this. So good, Clover, I didn't send you all the way upstairs yet. Let's bring you over here. The hallway. Looks good. Let's just check the door. Making sure, ever since we get burned by the elusive extra agent that's not listed, I, I'm always paranoid we might run into one. So let's come in here, get this loot before we go upstairs. So it looks like you're back to getting this loot and then climbing the ladder. Yeah, that wouldn't that be funny if Sickle was Russian? Let's get this over with. It'd be nice to have uh, an agent hammer and Sickle, right? Of course, if you had a had a agent named Hammer, you know you could always have a agent named Arm, Arm and Hammer. But all right, so we got a guy here preventing us from. Oh, he's gonna move, so we can go in there. He's just a lowly civilian. Uh, except I left the door open. We'll try to remember to close it when I come back. <laughs> Maybe we should just change change someone's name to Hammer after after their clover, cover is blown, just so we have a hammer and a sickle. We could always do that. 
And now, I think, we're in good shape out here to just run on in here and we'll stand here to make sure there's no surprises watching me. Well, there, there was a surprise watching, but it's not an agent. It's just a regular guard and he can't see far enough. So, yeah, we're in good shape. Alright. Eleven security measures, all done in one fell swoop. Oh. Someone came through a door. It's rare! It happens, but it's not super common to have people wandering through doors into other rooms. And fortunately, uh, she decided to look here and not where we're going. So Clover, stand here. Let's make sure nobody's watching up from down below. Everything seems good. And we got some documents there. So what I'm going to do is send you out of here now and shut the door. All right. I like keeping doors shut. So if things go do if do if things do go loud, I have a it's an extra indicator of of cuz once it go loud, doors automatically open. You have, they, they stay open. You can't run through them and stay closed. So if things go loud, it helps me get a better feel for if enemy agents have been somewhere. You know what I mean? So that's why I always take the time to close the doors. Now, we're downstairs. We got to see, is there any loot downstairs uh, with bagpipe before we go up? I'm just doing a quick sweep down here to, to see what we see. And I've learned sometimes if you look at a room, you gotta switch the angle because things sometimes remain hidden depending on the angle you're looking at a room. You almost gotta do a 360 of every room. They like these uh, slide projectors. They're in a lot of these hideouts. So yeah, downstairs I'm not finding a lot other than our, our agent. At least on this side of the building. And then this is the main lobby. And there's nothing uh, in the main lobby so much. And then we have an outer building here though. So downstairs wise, I'm not noticing a lot. Yeah, I'm just not seeing uh, evidence of any loot downstairs other than the agent we have to take out. And this agent we have to take out... Okay, there are two doors here. And all is going to, how easy this is, is going to depend on which way he's looking. So that's, there's that. So it looks like if there's any more loot, it's going to be up on the third floor. And I'm just looking in this outer building, just because I know I looked once. There's not a high, I, I'm so used to there being so much loot. I'm so used to there being so much loot because when we do the the beholder cells, there's there's we're, we're, there's so much loot we don't know what to do with ourselves. So Clover, hey, you're mom. done. Uh, bagpipe, we're just gonna send you say in here so we can go upstairs because we'll we'll come back down later for the agent. Probably come down later for the agent because I, I also want to scout out the coverage for this guy and how hard that's going to be and we'll determine what order we got to do it in too so well the only agent on this map that we found so far is this guy and so we can't check if he has a control phrase 
until we physically see him, then we'll know. Uh, otherwise, I, I can't right click on an empty space. I have to find the guy. <laughs> Bagpipe, let's go up. He's not an agent. He's, he's just a guard. He's a lowly guard. And we've been here. I've been through here. I'm just coming. I'm, I'm just sending us. Oh, you mean my skills? Yeah, that that the the people we put control phrases on were um, agents, though. And if they aren't showing up as an agent, there there shouldn't be a control phrase on them, right? I'm getting myself confused on these comments here, you guys. So, because we have to be near an agent the, for the control for we have to have the agent in sight for that control phrase thing to to show up. So I'm coming out to this ladder to get up to the third floor as quickly as possible. Here. Yeah, to do control phrase, not yet. Because I'm almost positive that control phrase doesn't appear unless you see it, until you see the agent with it. That's the way I remember it showing up Oh, it does show up no matter where? So there is no control phrase then. So neither, I, I see what you're saying. I could have sworn it only showed up on that one. I don't remember it on others, but I remember the one that had the outdoor area and I was, the, and then the guy went outside, he was standing on the roof. I could have sworn the ability went away when I didn't see him, but I, I could totally be wrong. Okay, anytime, yeah. Okay, you've been farther. Hope and I, I tend to trust you because you played later game more than I've played later game on this stuff. So that's why some of these things I don't remember because I just haven't seen it enough. So I don't think we have a control phrase person. I see what I see what y'all were trying to point out to me. You can tell right now if there's any control phrase out here, and there's not. We know that room is safe. That's where we started and got into the safe. Now it's making sense. Sometimes my skull gets a little thick. Is it time to die yet? Sometimes my skull gets a little thick. Now I'm going to come here to peek into this room. See what we got to deal with in getting out our potential rescue here. Yeah, you, you knew this was going to be the place. So what we're going to have to do, because uh, we're going to need to take both these guys out, is we're going to have to focus down here first. This is going to have to be our first order of business. So, I'm thinking uh, we'll bring you next turn back down. We'll jump off the edge here. We'll go across here one person at each door we'll figure out which way he's facing and then we'll 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 do the takedown make sure there's not multiple agents in this room too so that's that's the order of business now as far as loot is there any i don't recall seeing loot other than that one cabinet okay we got a briefcase here so that that makes me feel like we've we've tracked down most of the loot yeah i think we're we're pretty good on loot. All right, bagpipe. We're gonna start sending you down. I'm feeling a little, little more confident that I can move freely around here. And I'll just bring you outside the door and we'll get ready to move you across in a moment. 
And bagpipe. I feel like we can bring you right into the hall already. Okay, it's not a guard out here, it's just a civvy. That's good to know. That 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 actually can save a that that's actually a good tip off. So I'm gonna bring you over here, Clover. No. I wouldn't have if I knew you, you no, so I should be safe opening the door from here with bagpipe. And we can get an idea, I hope if we can see him, of which way he's facing. Okay, or which way she is facing. Now, we can get into this person to knock him out, because this is a safe spot. Uh, we just have a guard that's a little bit of a problem. Because she is seeing the guard, and the guard is seeing her, and I hope one of them moves. Eventually. I, I really do. I hope he's not forever stationary, or... How are we going to do this? Because the agent sees him, and there's no way to take out... If they're both stationary looking at each other, there's no way, because it's turn-based, to take out one before the other, because... Oh, you know what I'd have to do? We'd have to breach the room. We'd have to do a room breach with our silenced weapons. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that may be, if this guy doesn't move, what we're going to have to do. So I'm just going to stand here right now, and we'll just spend another turn and see. Oh, I shut tight. I don't know if I said hi. I didn't, and maybe that's the first thing you've said, but welcome aboard. Uh, if I missed seeing you earlier. And then, let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll just end our turn and wait and see if they... Now, her in the hallway is also an issue, because when we breach, the door stays open. Correct? And then, it's also if somebody is wandering around out here, like you said. Oh, here's another outer building I never checked, I don't think. But well, fortunately, nothing. So that's the only thing we don't know. But, you know, I guess we'll have to take our chances and just move fast. It doesn't look like they're moving. We'll give it one more turn. Yeah, I'm glad I was engrossed and not just gross, but here we go. Oh, that's, that's true. That's, that's true. Uh, I may wait till she walks away, but it looks like we're going to have to do a breach on this one. And thank goodness we have, we both have a silenced weapons. So therefore, that should not raise any alarm by doing the breach. I'm just going to wait for her to wander back away. So she's not looking at us, at least, when we, when we do the breach. The only thing about doing a breach is there's no interrogation for this agent. Right? It just means all we could do is kill. That's the only bad thing about a breach. We lose out on the interrogation, and the interrogations have been productive lately. Yeah, th this, this guy's not budging. So, I think we uh, close the door. Oh. I think you close the door and we set up for a breach. So, Clover... Okay, we're, we'll wait one more turn for the breach so we can do it on the same door. I don't know. If, I guess we could have done it separate doors. And she's walking away for a turn anyway, so that that's all cool. Yeah, now, now she's definitely... 
Out of eyesight, out of earshot for a silenced weapon breach. Oh, I have to, I think I have to open the uh, nearby agents move into the designated, the designated area and shoot in the encounter. Da, 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 da. Firing capacity, right mouse button on enemy. So I do kind of have to open the door to see him first. So I do have to go back and close the door. So here's where we move to. And let's see. Um, so I right mouse button on enemies to lock targets. So she has 106. Whose weapon? I think your pistol. Well, I think the pistol. Let, let's. I think the pistol does enough damage. I can't remember which one is the better pistol. The PPK is pretty dang good, but so is. Yeah, the PPK does 108. So yeah, that that that's cool. So we're gonna go back to the breach, and that means uh, I want her. And I it says I should right mouse. I don't do this enough, so I always have to read the instructions on doing it. Um, so right mouse button on enemies to lock targets. So Clover, I want you to. to right click here. No. Okay, I got to click here. This is where I want you to go, and then I think I click on the enemy. I it doesn't really say it exactly like that, but I want you to go here. No. I want you to go here. No. So left click in the room. See, that's why I was trying to left click on one of these locations. So I want to breach. Oh wait, it shows. I go. This person goes here. There we go. So I had, I was clicking on the wrong. Uh, the the lines crossed each other, and I was not following my lines very well. So much for my connect the dot skills. And then um, I want to have her. <laughs> Go here and shoot that one. Well, I don't know if... Yeah, the clover with the PPK. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then uh, I have to also pick you. Or I guess I have to confirm first, huh? But... Uh, don't even ask what I what I do if I have to yeah so we're gonna do this one over here and that's the M10 M10 is silenced yes it is there we go and we're gonna take out this guy there okay we we, we got the targets locked now we are confirmed both of us and here we go Oh no, it's only a graze alarm. Oh. Mission target incapacitated. Okay, good. Did you see that? It only did a little damage at first, but we followed up and got it done before she was able to scream out. Okay. So breaches are just unusual to me. We're going to close the door and see what we got to do in here now there was no intel or anything here it's all upstairs so if anybody's gonna see in here as they're walking by can we both just go to the window and look out see if we see anybody oh 
Oh, they're they're a little weird, but I agree with you. They're super strong. They're a little janky in doing them. I I'll miss, and I don't see I don't see anybody. Doesn't doesn't feel like anybody's wandering around back here. Oh, look what I found. The uh, uh, an outer building that I missed before that has loot. So I will have to send someone over here. Uh, Clover, how about how about you? And then you'll have to meet us upstairs because we're gonna need your help upstairs too. Yeah, the uh, the reason I I tend to not use breach when pre you know preferably Let's get this over with. is uh, because I like to interrogate these agents. But, you know, you can't have everything. So, Clover... Let's, uh... Yeah, this will be the quickest way, I guess. And then, Bagpipe, let's get you motoring upstairs. What's the quickest way to get upstairs for you? Is there any... You were able to jump off the roof before. Okay, we got a ladder out here, so we'll head for the ladder. She sees in the room and saw the body. I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh, stupid. She walked back and she's out in the hall now. Well, there you go. I did it again. Oops, he did it again. So what I got to do is evacuate and and our we won't have the rescue of our informer. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go find out. We're, we're going to get shot at. Oh, man. Because I went out this door the first time. So it didn't even dawn on me because I went out a different door. Um, <laughs> It did not even dawn on me that there was a problem in the hallway because I went out this door with Clover. And I should have gone out the same freaking door. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, well. Oh well, it just means there's nobody to shoot bagpipe, but there is somebody, and fortunately, uh, Clover should be able to dodge. So the big thing is, let's find out where our evac can be, uh, because I, 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 I just, I, with only two agents, there's no way I can get up here and fight through everybody and still get out. There's just no way, especially with reinforcements showing up you name it we just gotta freaking get out of here so let's find out where the two options are there or here and in this instance this is the easier of the locations to get to so this is where we'll be puffing and puffing to get Yeah, the main reason I closed doors, and I closed that door, except I forgot, I it surprised, somehow it surprised me that, because she was over here, but she didn't walk any further, she walked back. For some reason I thought she was far enough away, I wouldn't, yeah, I just wasn't even thinking. Just did not even think about that. Is it time to die yet? So Clover, uh, we need to take a shot. Sounds like a PP job for the PPK. What's this one? Oh, coup de gras. Uh, any day now? I pressed shoot. Why are you not shooting? I could have sworn I pressed to shoot. Um. Matteo Genova! Yes, why not? <laughs> when the stream feels boring, misclick. <laughs> that livens things up. Except, um, we're not... It's like we're stuck here. We're stuck. Oh, there's a war on your train today, Gleaser. I need to distract from my misclick, so I'll, I'll focus on your, your typo. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she saw the body. I get why it went loud. She saw the body, the, the not the, the agent's body. She saw the, 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 the cop's body that was in the room. And it looks like the game has frozen. 
It looks like the game has frozen. She's trying to shoot and is not shooting. And I have never had this... In all the time I've played this game, I have not uh, had this game freeze before. So you know, I may have... If it, if it turns, it doesn't turn save. I, uh, does it... I think it may turn the last... It may auto-save the last turn. And guess what that would do? <sighs> she does <laughs> Clover hesitates shooting Iris cops. <laughs> Thank you for adding the note to her file. Well, guys, it looks like... It, it, truly is stuck so what I'm gonna have to do is see about loading oh well I, I don't want to restart the whole mission let's just see if we can load from the last save and we have uh, auto saves right here this mission is called better landslide and we're going to reload our last save and see what it does for us Oh boy, I, you know, does the save get me out of a jam? So because I made a misclick and made a mistake, does that mean on the reload I have to make the same moves and the same mistake and go from there? Probably. If I want to play honestly, right? Yeah, see? This is before the disasters move. There's someone in the hall right here who saw that body laying on the ground when I went out with bagpipe this door. So let's put it up for a vote. I'm perfectly fine if you want to pick it up the way I actually did it, uh, or if you want to, to go clean, but I'm not going to make that decision on this one. Y'all are going to have to vote. As far as I know, you know, there's uh, anywhere from five to seven, depending on how laggy my stream counter is. So if we can get at least five votes, uh, Say, you know, say, play with the misclick or without. Let's just vote that way. Oh, you guys don't want 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 your name uh, with a vote? <laughs> you don't want people to know how you vote? <laughs> Are you afraid they'll call you a save scummer? <laughs> Yeah, democracy. How often do we get to do it without cheeseburger it? Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'm getting a clean read on this. Let's see. If you don't tell any... So that says uh, go out the proper door this time. There's one vote for that. Um, and then... <laughs> I mean, it's fine. with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope's end. You'll tolerate omitting the misclick. You know, the 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 gaming gods. I, I take it as the gaming gods look down upon us. You're right, though. I will feel better that that. I pr I probably will feel better that I'm not cheesing the game and I misclicked and I should just be a big boy, and go on with the mis misclick. Yeah, well, it, that, that's the other argument, too. Well, the game froze because it knew you screwed... You know, it doesn't want you to continue this way. So, we can argue that, too. They laughed at us and gave us another chance. So, th there we go. It, it, it's kind of fun to be able to talk this out. So, let's do this. This move was okay. All right, and this move. Hey, bagpipe, why don't you go out this door? So here we go. You know, in the scheme of things, I, we would have gotten out of here. We wouldn't have died. The, the evac wasn't going to be that far away. I think we would have been okay. Um, so, you know, I'll rationalize that in my head all day long. Yeah, we'll come back over this way. 
And nobody's the wiser. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> See, she's even looking away from our door, so she couldn't have seen. Alright, let's go get some loot. Uh, yeah, we we can we can go into the room. Oh, hey, th there's there's a secret document over here too. I was I was never saw this building in all my scanning around. So the 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 same. So yeah, I want to actually the ladder's over here. So this is where I need to go. This is how we were all planning to do it. So. uh... There you go. And anybody watching this game after the fact, let me know if you think the streaming chat made the right choice, or if I made the right choice ultimately. Uh, I'd love to hear your comment for those that aren't able to join the stream, and let me know what you think what we should have done. Okay, now we got some loot here with nobody in the room. No, I'm just making sure nobody was around the corner, so go ahead. And then uh, let's run over this way to get the top secret document. And nobody was hiding in the corner. And then now we'll climb up our ladder and get positioned upstairs so we can rescue our prisoner. Alright, now, Clover, it's time for you to run, 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 run. Papa, do run, run, and get out of here. Leave me alone. And catch up so we can take out our informer. Oh, look, there's another door I left open. But I don't have to worry about it. I can go in here, no problem. I can probably even I, I it'll allow me to check out the door in here, but let's let's just go in here and see where they are. Yeah. Ah, I'm not gonna do that. Part of the reason I do the live streams right now is I don't have to edit when they post. All I have to do is wait for them to YouTube to render them the HD and then I just keep it the way it is with live chat so people can follow along with the live chat if they're walk watching after the fact. Um, you just have to make a little, press a little button somewhere, depending on where you're watching, whether it's tablet, phone, or PC or whatnot. Um, you can always follow on the live chat. So these guys really don't move a lot. So basically, we're going to have to breach this room again. Because of the way, oh wait. No, we don't. We can take this guy out first, because he, because of the pole, doesn't see over there. You can see his vision stops right here. So we don't have to breach this room. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're done. Yeah, because what, what I've read is if I edit... If I edit, you know, the VA... Or, or wait, if, if I edit the stream, it loses the live chat if that makes sense so apparently when you edit a stream it the the system at least as it stands right now youtube it, it can't sync the live chat when you're doing edits so um therefore i, I don't edit these things because i don't want people to miss out on the live chat because i know if i watch a live stream after the fact you know on demand I like following along with the live chat. I like knowing what the, you know, what the streamer's saying. So that's why I don't touch these or edit these in all their misclicked glory or, or whatever happens. I, I don't edit them. So anybody following on the after the fact yet. just just watches whatever we got. Let's see if we have another agent in here. 
Now it looks like he's alone in here. So I actually could shut the door, come in here and do my thing, free the guy, and these these dudes won't know. So let's close the door and go in here. Hey, sickle. You seen hammer lately? Uh, I, I guess I can just go ahead and do this too. Well, who's he gonna tell? Leave me alone. Yeah, and it's always—it's been my choice. Uh, yeah, I—I I, I just assume people like watching live streams unedited because half the fun of watching a live stream and putting up with all the excess chatter and this and that is seeing what the chatter is on the other end. Otherwise, if you don't have the chat to go with it, you, you, everybody, you, you start wondering, well, what's he responding to? Why, why is he saying this? Why is he doing that? And that's half the fun of a live stream. That's the, the, the appeal of a live stream. So I can uh, let this guy go. Uh, I just can't bring him out of the room yet. And I have two doors to choose from, so when I come out of the room, I just got to make sure I, I <laughs> go out the right door this time. All right. VIP released. Good job, team. What the? So actually, I could attack with Sickle, too. So I don't have to wait for my other agent to come up here. Because I... I will put Sickle here. I will go out this door. Or I'll tell you what. I'll put Sickle over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the zigzag entertainment bundle. I like that phrase. <laughs> I like that phrase. So I see people edit their Twitch things also, but I don't know if Twitch is different, because because you can... I think there's a way where you can record the chat in addition... I, I don't know. I think Twitch might be slightly different, but I'm not sure because I don't use Twitch, so uh, I don't know for sure. So, Bagpipe, it should be. Nobody will see in here that he's free, so you should be able to come out. There, and then we'll just position ourselves here because this guy, as we tested, can't see. So we should be able to take this guy out first, and then Sickle can come in and take this guy out, and then we're free to get out of here as long as I don't lead with Sickle. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there, I, and that's why I think Twitch is different where you can edit but still preserve the, the chat like that. And I don't, I, I've, I've been searching if there's a way to do it on YouTube. I, I'm not aware of, of that being the case. Unless I could somehow record my second monitor with the box of YouTube chat. And, uh, but that's... Right now that sounds like a lot of time and work to get that all figured out. So I just don't edit. I just don't edit. Lazy me. Call me what you want. Uh, Sickle, we'll leave you there, and Clover's done. We'll, we'll do our business next turn. Let's get this over with. All right. Is Let's get back up to the main, yet? the main theater here. In fact, let's do it from here. Because I want to make sure he can't see even where I'm standing. So we're going to do it from here. I'm glad they all fall straight down and like he doesn't fall over to the side, you know, into the guy's view. Yeah, there you go, Gleaser. They, yeah, because you, you're, you're on Twitch. Uh, so you know how it works. Yeah, you're you're my reference. You know how to you know how to worry. We, and that's why I'm thinking if I I could probably get to a point where, I if I wanted to go to the trouble, uh, 
I, I don't know how I, it's just like my head spins because you know I can do these things usually I sit down have some quiet moment and figure it out I could probably at the same time find figure out a way to record my second monitor and the YouTube chat that's on it and then edit that down and and place it off to the side of the screen somewhere and and do all that so yeah that that's so I, I imagine I could come up with an option that would still allow me to to edit out dead time dead space you know the starting soon kind of stuff anything that might not get people to join in but then Cutting out the starting soon, I don't really want to do because we sometimes have fun chat then. Not always, but today was interesting at the very beginning <laughs> with my misspeaks. Oh, confirm. I heard I'm trying to click on him. Chop him, chop him. Yeah, I use OBS, so I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just, uh, you know, I screen record here. I could probably do a, a, a set up a record at the same time because I re can stream and record. I just have, would need the recording to do the other screen as opposed to the game screen, and I'm sure I could set all that up. Because right now I'm testing out, if anybody's been in Discord, you probably see I've been playing a game quite extensively today. I'm trying out some new mods. They might give you a heads up on something I'm thinking of streaming if anybody's been in Discord recently and, and notices, because I don't hide my icon up in the corner as to what I'm playing or doing on the screen. So there, there's a tip off. It's not guaranteed that's the game I'm going to do next, but... I am testing out some interesting mods. Yeah, you've seen me on there, Felipe. You've seen me, but I, it's not just that mod. There's other mods with that mod that I'm looking at, too, that I haven't used before, and I'm testing them out, trying to balance a few things. So I've had some spare time uh, recently off and on where I could have been recording, but I'm also trying to prepare for an upcoming live stream because I've never played that game on live stream and I, I, I would love people to see it live, the, the, the good and the bad and the ugly that comes with that game that I love so much. It got me playing turn base like this too and loving turn base like this. So actually we can, we can do this. No, the uh, regular Long War, the original. I'm I'm editing lo uh, uh, Long War of the Chosen. Time to die yet? But this is back to the original, original, and all its funkiness. I, I I love it. So bagpipe, let's send you out here. And make sure there's nobody in this room. Okay, so you're gonna kind of be the lead person. And so what I got to do, it looks like we're going to be able to make it out. So what I got to do is call evac, except we're going to call evac and bring it over here. Extraction order confirmed. So I'm already doing Long War the Chosen edited, although there's been un unusually long breaks for both that and Terror from the Void recently. And I've had limited time, and unfortunately, in the last week, I've been using that unlimited, or my limited time, testing out some new mods and seeing if it makes sense, if it would work. You know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Not original, original. Original, new. X XCOM Enemy Unknown. That one. And it's the Long War mod. But there's some other pieces to it. Um, yeah, there's a new air game. Well, it's not new. There's no new mod. But they're, they're new to me that I have not tried yet. Uh, Squadron Unleashed to, to adjust the air game. And I've, I'm playing around with that one. Trying to balance uh, things out. Because you get to take multiple aircraft on 
air, aircraft missions, but I right now I've doubled the strength of the UFOs to kind of help offset the extra aircraft you get to take, and I'm just trying to come up with the right balance on things and get a feel for it. So um, that's what I'm looking at, trying good old-fashioned long war with some mods I've, I've not used before that kind of jazz it up a little bit. So anyway, let's see who's left. Bagpipe, you need to go downstairs and uh, kind of take our path we're going to take. Make sure there's nobody I'm not aware of in the hallway. And the hallway is clear. That person's downstairs. And this person's walking over this way. So I'm going to keep you in the hallway looking down on this guy. Because we already know from being in this room earlier, I don't think anybody's in here. And then we're going to bring you only to the top of the stairs for now, Sickle. Because before I bring you down, I don't want you standing in the hallway. So even if he's moving here, I can bring you down here to at least look down the corner. I don't think I've seen any guard over here. No, so we're okay. Yeah, I've I've well, I've I've heard a couple people that say they they were okay with it, but I've also heard a couple of people say eh, it's not as good as the other two. So, um, if I was to try that one, I would test it first to make sure because I ha I have to like the game too. I like this game for all its quirks and and weirdnesses. I like this game. So yeah, he won't be able to see up here far enough. Yeah, so we, we can get you out. So let's bagpipe, let's just double check this room again. Make sure I, I'm not dreaming and yeah, we can jump out that window. There's nobody in here. Let's walk you all the way in here. And then Sickle will follow. Yeah, this room is clear. Sickle, let's get moving. In fact, go here. We'll see if we can... We'll just jump out this window instead of the balcony. We'll stay away from those two guards in there. Oh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, we got all the loot. So we did a, we did a good job on the loot. So what you're saying is not as good, right? in your mind. So we'll bring you right here, Clover, and we're done. Now we just got to get the other two down there and we're out of here, so that's good. And we'll have some intel to decipher coming up after this mission, which is almost over, so let's let's see if we can get these guys out of here. Now, guards down below, there was this guy. So you know, I'm going to send you over here real quick, Clover. Can you see where that guard is over here? Okay, he's not an issue. He's already turning around. So I'll let you come right back, Clover. And we're safe to jump out the window, I believe. Except we're not quite out. And bagpipe. Yeah, you, you can go this way because you're in disguise. Almost out. But we, we could, it would have done us no good to get out last turn anyway, because the van wasn't here yet. Yeah, after this game you want to buy stock in, in, the, in the glass company, the window company. There we go. So the gaming gods look down upon us. This will ever be known as the the game froze mission. Primary mission successful. Or was it? I think it was Clover. Cl the Clover and her fear of Irish cops. Or I, I maybe I should say Clover and her 
admiration of Irish cops. She wouldn't shoot. She wouldn't pull the trigger. She just stood there and said, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's, let's have a do-over. Yeah, I know. Sometimes the the, the 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 flow of XCOM type games, there's kind of an ebb and a flow. So sometimes there's lots of them out there. You get to try like uh, Lamplighters League popped in here to fill a live stream opening that I felt I had because I felt I could live stream enough. And uh, yeah, there you go. Clover is attributed to Ireland. And for us, it's like she is a four-leaf clover because she got us out of a jam by freezing the game. There's a lot of ways you could look at it. Caught like a deer in the headlights. Yeah, that it's it's really strange. So we didn't get any uh, secret documents per se, but we did get a trade contract. So I believe what that means is I can actually build as many of these, you know, vests that I need, although I have a pretty good amount of them. All, all that we're finding lately are the juggernaut armors. So I wonder if we have some big colossal openly hostile mission where I really got to equip everybody with those or something. I don't know. They're probably good to just travel around with like we are. So if we get ambushed, we got a good bit of armor to help us out. So actually, for, for not taking out that many people, uh, we got some good stuff. We got new perks for Sickle. Let's go check out Sickle. I'm interested to find out about Sickle. We'll go to crew quarters, and there he is. There he is. Look at that. Hit points. Now let's see, what do we got? Seeking talent, tail talent, and we have three, three, not just one, but three. We have three action points on him, and we don't know what his drugs of choice are, so I don't know if he'll have a way to gain his max fire points or not. Sometimes with these guys you didn't get to start the game with, it's just better to clear them out. Yeah, I, I enjoy. I'm actually enjoying the game. Um, the the controls are different. Yeah, the controls are different. But once you get used to it, hit. Yeah, you know, it's a, there's a lot of space bar action in, in that game. So there you go. What do we get? He comes with a gas grenade. Uh, he comes with an LMG. So he he comes with a nice weapon. So let, let's go see. He already has Survivor. That's why his health is way up. He's a dancer. He has some good perks. This guy's got some good perks. Let's go see what other good perks he has or that we can add to it. Martial artist, decreasing awareness of a takedown, protect from stun, improves his damage threshold, and free diver. We, you know, we had an issue with gas early in this playthrough. But we haven't really seen many gas bombs lately. And we really haven't seen many flashbang slash stun grenades either. Although I feel like somebody who already has the great perks, maybe we should back them up with some of these others. So if something does go bad, they can, you know, this good person with good stats can still get out. Yeah, make him make him the guy on the outside that protects us all, especially with that great gun he has. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't, I I haven't built up my outside team that much. Other you know, other than my guy who's really not that built up, really either. Uh, faster movement. So not only do we have dodge, but we're going to pick up faster movement, which can really help because you already have three actions. I think that's a that's a great pickup for us here. Yeah, now you we just added three extra move. So in a, in a sense with you, by doing that, uh, somebody else, an average person, would have picked up two extra movement. We actually picked up three extra movement with that perk on you. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we could make him an actor if we want him inside. 
Stalker, Overwatch, Fearless cannot be suppressed, which if he's going to be an outside guy, might be a good thing too. Oh, but how can you turn that down by recovering awareness? That's what keeps us alive. But let's go with someone who can't be suppressed. That sounds like an outdoor kind of agent kind of a guy. And there's a proficient weapon. What else are we proficient with? Ah, he, he is a shoddy guy also. 115, 129. So you, you are not proficient with the gun you came with. So we'll give you that. And then we'll give you a uh, more small... Well, you're not proficient with the pistol, so we'll give you this SMG instead. So the shoddy is able to use mercury bullets. Oh, it's an LMG. It's not a shoddy. I didn't choose the shoddy. So yeah, let, let's... This one hits hard harder than that one so let's give this one the special ammo for now there we go yeah we're working on Rambo that that'll have to be his new name once he gets his new ID that's that uh, now what are the uh, you'll have to be around hopes and to help me remember that we're coming up this guy's gonna be Rambo once we once we <laughs> get a new code name. So let's go to analytics because I know we have some stuff in here and I always appreciate having your guys' eyes on this one. And what do we got? Savak. Now do we have archery range anywhere else out here? Yes it is. Right here. Let's make it a little closer and we may have solved this one. And we got more. It, Intel generates Intel, doesn't it? So we can build the PPKs now, if we so desire. So cool, we, we finished the file. But that's good because we've been picking up more files. So let's get to work. Emil, or Emil. My father's name was Emil, but it was with an E. So uh, that that's... My, in fact, my name could have been Emil. Because my father was a junior. So obviously his father was named Emil too. And there was a chance, it was discussed, that I would have been the third. So... Yeah, we, we got some some people. Now, yeah, catfish. <laughs> catfish has a control phrase. Yeah, we'll 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 have to yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. We'll go back there. We'll go back there. Um So actually, I could have been Emil the 3rd. And the funny thing, I remember answering the phone back in the day where we had landlines and you got sales calls on the phone and you answered because there's no such thing as caller ID and stuff like that. But we always knew when it was a sales call when they asked, hello, I'd like to speak with Emily, please. <laughs> so we just laugh and go, I'm sorry, there's no Emily that lives here or whatever we ended up saying for the day to have fun. So I'm glad I didn't have to gain the, you know, any kind of a family name. I got my own name. Zigzag. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fallen Angel, Hill Resident, Kingfish. Uh, looks like uh, Foxtrot, Poor Butler. I'm not seeing any anything to gain here. Let's see. The location, industrial facility and watershed. Multiple casualties, broken windows, signs of explosion. Upon seeing this... K. Chernenko, and we got a new name. So a bunch of redactives. We are still unsure who is responsible for this operation or what its objective. Zeitgeist, Zeitgeist, has been spotted recently in this area, but given their wide network of contacts, it leaves us 
with suspects ranging from a bunch of redacteds again. Uh, 3H? No. Furthermore, after as little as, oh, three hours, if I would have read, I would have realized that's not a code name. We were contacted by Rockstar. There's the last one. Ah, so my middle name should have been Emil from what you're saying, right? If, if I was in your family, that is. And we got a watershed link. He is on fire. Where's the watershed? Oh, I see it. It's on this little tiny... It's almost like... Uh, infra oh, it's, oh, it's a slide. That's what that is. Well, but, but, but did you take your father's middle name? Uh, you want to hear my father's middle name is very, I guess, I guess it's more of the French side of him. Um, Emile Francis was his middle name. So I could, uh, <laughs> I could have been an Emile Francis the third, but I'm not. Instead, I'm zigzag. Well, the zig see, I took zigzag. Zigzag is uh, the zigzag zog is a family nickname because uh, zog is in our last name, so we became zigzag zog, and that that's hence my screen name. So there you go. But th thank goodness, I, I uh, you know what? I, what can I say? Yeah, I think my father's, well, not immediate family, but his, his family, be, before they came to the U.S., was more in the Alsace-Lorraine area, that kind of a thing. So I got, I got, depending on my mom's side or dad's side, I got family points all through Europe. So, anyway, we're done here. Ah, oh, let's see. We need a place? Clara. No, it's not a name, a place. If you got this, it probably means they got me, I'm being tortured, or I'm already dead. I left my notes in the dead drop that we used back in Keystone. There we go. Beholders initiatives. Also, that's not the organization. Beholders, Beholder initiatives influence stresses far. Not only do they own stakes in a number of international corporations, which technically isn't illegal, they also associate with all manner of terrorist organizations and firebrand NGOs. So let's see. Citing the documents, Good Neighbors. There it is. Good Neighbors has been showing up a bit. <laughs> Mittlerweile. Oh, so you're typing English with, uh, with, uh, <laughs> with the German autocorrect on, aren't you? <laughs> that, that makes for fun times. I do that because sometimes I'm, 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 I'm switching keyboard keys uh, on the on the computer, so I go from Polish to English to German because I'll switch between all threes depending on what I want to write. Not that I'm fluently writing in German anymore, that's for dang sure. I'm not fluent there anymore. Um, forgotten too much. I don't see any links off the top of my head here, so we're going to solve this. Mm, material recovered by Redacted in Elm Tree. Yeah, sometimes it is, but sometimes it's a hoot. <laughs> it depends on the situation. Oh, there was a good neighbors link in there, so we're gonna have it. He, yeah, Nightmares is saying, "Man, Zigzag, you're so slow." Skywalk and Hunting Lodge. Okay, I'm seeing all these connections. Get out of here. Let's make them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Good Neighbors is one of the main connections too. No wonder you saw that. So Hunting Lodge also. And I don't know that I saw anything on these. So it looks like Belvedere, no, Keystone, no, Henhouse, Cold Porter. So I think this one's now done. So we're caught up on the intel. 
<laughs> no clue at all, huh? No clue at all. <laughs> I <laughs> I love how that reads. I have a no clue how to turn it off on my tablet. <laughs> I love the, the mixing of English. Oh, well, I do it all the time because I'll be talking with, with family here and I'll, I'll speak English, but I'll throw in when I can't say it in Polish, I'll say it in English and just throw a random Polish word here and there that I know just, you know, to let them know, you know, I, I, I am trying to learn. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So, I'm getting there very slowly. It's like I'm crawling, but I think we're done here. Let me get focused back in here. Now, crew quarters. Uh, what did we have? Cat, something about catfish that I overlooked that we got to go back and revisit. So what do we have here? Uh, I, I can't even remember. Here it is. Cabal. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for seeing that. So he is a dirty egg also. So what I have to do is put him into MK Ultra and do a little brainwashing. Um, or, is, yeah. So that means he's been brainwashed by them because my two guys are out in the field. The ones... Oh, no, no, he came out of... He came out... No, I take that back. He came out. He needs to be released. Locator is still in there. So I got it. I got it. Now I get it. We got to release the guy. Yeah, we got to We got to release him. Thank you. I, I, I hadn't noticed that. So I got to come in here. Let's go find him. No. Because I, I got to release and he's a no he doesn't have a special color in here catfish oh he's away so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to bring him back i sent him out when did i send catfish out oh that's bad i gave him a control phrase and now i'm using him as if he's our own so i've got to get catfish back and i need to release him So where is Catfish? There's the quest. There's the real question. Let's go find out where he is. He is in Houston. Oh, he's not very far away. Hmm. Oh, it, see, it says cabal control phrase. You know what I'm saying? It says cabal. So I, I think he's been turned by the cabal. And we got to be careful about putting him into a mission or if they attack us, he can be turned. Is Am I... So he's, he's dirty. I don't want to put him on a mission. Because they can turn him against us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, we are Cabal. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, ta I'm, I'm getting it all backwards. I'm getting it all backwards. I'm getting it all backwards. So he's in Houston. He's down here. So what I got to do is send him back to the base. So I'll just send the Houston team back. What's the difference that we're we're here? So let's send these guys back to the base. And then we can release him out and have another agent. Because right now, we already have the, the two agents we know of. Phobos and Corner have it. Cabal control phrase, cabal control phrase. So when, I don't remember giving this one. Uh, did we give a third guy already? And I got yet another. Oh, I'm, I've, I've confused myself. But anyway, we got a third one we'll send back out in just a moment. How about that? And money-wise, I'm going to let a little time go by and we gain a little more money. Uh, I can sell stuff, but there's nothing super urgent here. Uh, it doesn't look like I have to do a control phrase here. NATO headquarters, we need more info about the, the NATO civil defense. So I could probably just send a couple people over there. 
like Bagpipe and Clover again. Wait, it's a story mission. I probably have to go on it. It may be that I have to go. And Ragdoll is injured, correct? I think she might be one I sent out injured that I'm not aware of, so let me double check that. There's something ringing a bell in my ear that Ragdoll is not 100% strength. Okay, she's okay. Where... Where does it show? It doesn't show her health here. No, yeah, here it is. If I look in the infirmary, she's not at full health. So I need to bring Ragdoll back and send somebody else over to me, and then we'll go do that mission, because usually story missions, I have to go on those. So who can I... Who is available to send in... We can send Octopus over to where we are now. And I'll send Ragdoll back. So we want to send... Ragdoll goes back to base. And we're going to send Octopus over here. That's a nice trade. Then we'll be able to go and move on the story mission. Yeah, I, I I don't remember giving it to him, but, you know, what can I say? You don't like being called the Cabal. You don't like being associated with the Cabal. Is that what you're telling me, Felipe? Okay, Grimoire. We removed all of her, so she's back to her base self. So let's get in there and start drugging her up. And we'll give her the, the tried and true drug regiment. We'll start with the THG. And that's Grimoire. I, I just like saying her name for whatever reason. But we're going to start with the THG. Did I... Did I... Finish... No, that is new, because it says, yeah, we're, 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 we're assigning. I guess we were removing all. I wish there was a way to tell. Well, the other one is... Because she can take Blaster. Yeah, so we she's, start, she's starting fresh. Because if she doesn't have THG, we're starting fresh, and yeah, we're, this is what we're doing. There's so many agents. Sometimes I, I, I feel like I need a little notebook to keep track of what I'm doing to everybody. Sometimes. I mean, the game interface isn't that bad. So there we go. Let's uh, go with another drug of choice. Uh, the THG is followed up by the Ampia. You know, maybe the drug is called AMPEA, -E but I'll call it Ampia. Ooh, she's had some drugs, because I see no Ampia here. Oh, wait, because it's not her. That's why. It took her out. Grimoire, go back in there. Now we should have the Ampia. There we go. I wish we would keep the person there. We're giving her drugs. Keep her in there. Okay. Oh, the steam overlay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much for me and my, my clerical skills and keeping track of all this stuff, right? Oh, Catfish is back in the base now, too. So we can also release him out into the world. So let's do that. Um, through MK Ultra, let's find, uh, we like Catfish, thanks for the reminder. There he is. So he has the control phrase, and we're just going to release him. And he'll be in the field. So we're going to have a lot of control phrases out there. And pretty soon we'll have a, a locator out there also. That's kind of a si exciting. So a lot of contr those control phrases really, really help. New agent candidate. 
Oh, who's the other guy that we didn't see? Is he is he in our barracks? Sickle. Sickle's the new guy. Yeah, we gave him all these things, and he's really good and powerful. Um, let me see if Sickle could use some outside weapon training. Because uh, I can afford another training real quick. It's a nice, powerful... What's that one new weapon he brought with him? Was it the MG-51, I think it was? Yeah, it's probably not, Gleaser. Thanks for, for all your help and, and comments and everything and joining in. Uh, we're, we're getting near the end anyway. We're probably within our last 10, 15 minutes. So once I release this, if you want to see if anything happens at the end, feel free. But I, I'm going to give him a little training real quick because I think he we don't have anybody with this, or not many. And if he's going to be an outside guy, he wants to have some of these powerful weapons. Uh, no new abilities come with it, but weapon proficiencies are always nice because we can do all the additives to it. I think there's going to be that many more, but I don't mind training him again on a level 5 because he has many open training slots. So let's make this guy our powerhouse out outside guy for support. Because I still got two more slots for any other level 5s that show up on this guy. So I don't, I have no problem with that. And we still got money, so we're good. And a new compound. Now we're up to EPO. And Grimoire, stay in there. A lot of transatlantic flights going on. He's got a new perk. We're going to release uh, yet another guy now and see how this locator implant works and hopefully we'll find a base really quick. So let's go uh, back to the facility and we got to release this guy now. Uh, release. And we'll assign this guy for release. Yeah, I, and, I, and I know, but he's got two more slots that will be able to work on the passive abilities. Uh, and some people just need, I like weapon proficiencies on, on a few of them, just because, you know, there's special ammo, there, there, there's cool stuff that also make those weapons better if you're proficient with them. So they're good enough to begin with, but we can make them even better. So that's, now obviously I don't do that with everybody, but I think in his case it make, makes sense with so many open training slots. Not everybody has as many slots available. That's just my opinion. Alright, so we finished with the EPO, the DX MPA. Oh, back, I should have just clicked back to the facility. This one's next. Drug treatments are, involve a lot of back and forth. So it's too bad, you know, the game didn't have a way. Now that I've doing more of the body engineering than I ever did just playing early game. Um, it's too bad there wasn't a way to just set up a series in a row and keep them in there for, you know, 10 hours and just line up five in a row and, and do it that way. But, oh well. So we got Corner, Phobos, and look at that. All Everybody out there has either got... Oh, did our other guy not get released yet? I only see two names. My, our other guy, I guess, isn't a known agent yet, so that that's why we, we haven't found him yet. Okay. I don't know why I was going back in. Let's go. Canasta has removed all, and she has a nice starting point compared to some of the others. Look at, look at how she starts at 106 of, with her max hit points. So let's go back to the facility with her. We'll start her on her regimen now. And it's the THG. And Grimoire is up to the Denizol level. <laughs> 
She's up to the MPL level. And what do we do with her? I, I, did we do the Ampia on her? Yeah, so we're up to the EPO now. Oh, keeping these guys straight in my mind. This guy, how you doing? We got a nice little group tonight. Lots of lots of fun. Actually, it's been kind of a fun stream to me. So you know how some you're. I'm just more chatty, and I guess I started off on the right foot, wrong foot, whatever you want to call it. So Grimoire finished. I think it was Danazol. So TST is next because we didn't. We don't have access to Manitol yet. Nope. Been a fun stream for me. We we we. <laughs> yeah, let's just we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'll I'll be talking too long if I try to explain. <laughs> okay, we beholder cell revealed. It worked. How awesome is that? There's a beholder cell in Gdansk. Look at that. Now, so let's pause. So we immediately know what we're looking at here. Let's see who all's in Gdansk. And two of our control phrase individuals are in Gdansk also. So while he is, I, I guess, someone to be put out with this, we end up having to fight in the cell because uh, he can't be controlled and we'd have to take him down. Uh, unless we karate chopped him, brought him back, and put him in MK MKUltra again, we might, maybe he still has, or we, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that works. That's going to be interesting uh, beholder cell to get to. And we got a lot of agents all ready to go around. Uh oh, we got something going on here. Fortunately, we're two hours away from a very remote place. And I don't see anything else. Yeah, so that 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 should go really well. And since we're almost to the end of our time, this is what we're going to open with next time. Uh, well, actually, as soon as I send a tactical recon team here, so who's my nearest team? Where am I? I think I'm in Dublin, right? Yeah. So the Dublin team will come over here to start the recon. And since I excel at recon. And we'll get that going so we can open next time with, with that mission. And Grimoire has finished the TST. So she's on to Anadrol if we... I don't think we've picked up Anadrol yet, so it'll be BMA. Just double checking. Yeah, BMA will be next. And she finished EPO. And that moves us up to DX and PF for your canasta. We're getting, we're getting, we're, we love our drugs these days. We love our drugs. Yeah, that, that, that guy ended up working out well for it. That's the first time I've used that perk also. And that's the quickest we've ever found a, a beholder cell. And it's draining our funds right now. Fortunately, it's not adding danger, but we will still get rid of it ASAP. We're building up money. I can start getting to a point where I can start training and training en masse. And we found another informant over here. So BMA is followed by DHEA. And we're we're pretty much at our time, so we're we're we we got the recon going. So this is why as soon as the recon's done, we'll be able to do this mission. We got basically just about everybody available except for a couple people going through drug training, I guess you can call it, or the double agents, the three now double agents that we have forging. But we have a good group available uh, to choose from for this upcoming. And attacking a beholder cell is usually a six-person mission, so... Which one blocks Anadrol? 
Well, I don't even have Anadrol yet. I've looked through all my drugs, and I have it on my list as a drug of choice. Oh, one of the later ones. I think DHEA says it blocks Anadrol, but in the drug regimen, I don't even have Anadrol yet, and BMA in my regimen come comes after Anadrol. So it's one. There's two drugs in this drug regimen I do not have. That's Manitol and Anadrol, and in the series I have written down here, that's optimal. One there, there's so many people come up with these optimal lists of drugs. But mannitol comes before TST, and anadrol comes before BMA. So BMA locks out anadrol, but normally you take it before then, so it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, so so I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but so far this co drug combo has been upping our actions and giving us really good movement. We just haven't got to the point with someone starting at a high enough level to get... Um, the extra fire action, you know, that the two diamond action, the two orange diamond action. So I, I, I'm wondering if I had been able to take Anadrol, I could take BMA after I took the Anadrol, even though BMA says it blocks Anadrol. I, I don't know how that works because I, I, I don't have the luxury of having all that. So what do we got? Special mission. So we have two things lined up next time. I don't have to recon on this one. But I have to go on it. So after the recon, so there's two missions lined up for, for next time. So I was thinking if, if I, the thing is we, we, we hope when we interrogate some more people that we finally get access to Manitrol and Anadrol because it's Preventing us not having access to those drugs to making our people the best they could possibly be. And, you know, then we'll just have to live with that for now until we gain access to these other two drugs. So, thank you everybody. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see y'all next time. That time I said it right. Unlike the very first words out of my mouth at the beginning of this live stream. So... <laughs> I'm back under control once again for the moment. Yeah, I know. I guess I should have ended the same way I started. This is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this room. And I'm still in this room, as a matter of fact. In fact, Chichka's been in this room the whole time, just snoozing away behind me. Usually he doesn't last the full two hours or decides he's thirsty or hungry or whatever, but today it's Chichka, not Fang. And he also says, good night, everybody. Meow to you all. And uh, thank you, everybody. There's a bunch of people chatting in here. Gleaser from the train and uh, Hopes and Felipe. Uh, you were in here very early on. Nightmare, as always, the eagle eye on the Intel board. Eyes shut tight. Thank you for coming in. And um, yeah, Zig the Third. Well, yeah, I at least get to keep the family nickname. Of course, it's not, like, unique to our family. I know there's a lot of zigzags and zigzag zog names out there, but anyway, uh, thank you, everybody. And the only other thing I'll do before we go is I'll just throw this up here. Uh, we got little lamp lighters tomorrow. Uh, I got to I actually leave tomorrow morning to go uh, do lamp lighters remote tomorrow because I've got to do some pick up. Do I pick it up tomorrow? I may be picking up my driver's license on Friday. I think that's why I'm traveling up to Wrocław. I, I can't keep track of everything that's going on. I think that's my Friday agenda. So I'll be remotely broadcasting tomorrow, but I did that last week, too. I think on Wednesday with Lamplighters League. So we're going to do another remote Lamplighters League tomorrow night. And uh, yeah, all my travel. That's kind of why I don't get as much recording done. Too much going on, but that that should be coming down uh, hopefully soon. So uh, hopefully I can get some more recordings in because I, I enjoy Terror from the Void. I enjoy 
Long War of the Chosen. I just need more time to stay consistent with them. And it's hard. Yeah, remote lighters. <laughs> the remote lighters, yeah. <laughs> Flick a bick. And we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna carry the bick lighter with us for tomorrow. Yeah, that's just how it is sometimes. That's just how it is. So hopefully I, I'm more happy when I got it all going on all cylinders and I, I know I'm putting out episodes for that everybody enjoys. Now, I'm picking up new viewers with the live streams, but I've also dropped a few viewers uh, that miss me not be consistent with or, or subscribers or whatever you want to call them uh, that are not as that are a little upset that I'm not as consistent with the recorded videos right now on Long War of the Chosen and Terror from the Void. So I really want to get that fixed and cater to both audiences at the same time. I should be able to do that, I think, overall. So that's my ultimate goal. But anyway, thanks everybody. I'll keep rambling because that's just what I do sometimes. So we'll see y'all next time. Ciao everybody.